Uh, it's Xiaomi S Pro Mini LED. So just by checking out the box, you see that uh, of course it's a Mini LED with 1440 dimming zones with 2400 nits that's the maximum uh, brightness and uh, 144 hertz with MEMC technology I think that's the to smoothen the, the motions and so on is the processor yeah it comes with a, a master tuning fine tuning on the picture qualities and also the colors 4 gig of RAM and 64 gig of ROM yeah and it comes with HDR10 plus IMAX Enhanced AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. This is uh, especially great for gamers. Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision IQ, and DTSX, HDMI, of course, that's normal. You don't have to put it there. And the OS is MIUI TV. TV Lake, solid. Another one. one more here. Power cable. This is most important. This is the uh, a quick guide, I think. So that's where the power cords goes to, and. This is where the USBs are, and as well as the HDMI's. Well, the remote control comes with batteries as well, so that's that's nice. Yeah, I don't have to search for one. All right, so apparently I can't start it with the remote. I have to dig a hole and click on the power button. So all right, the first thing I did was uh, I used a Google Translate app um to see where is the general settings then after that going in here going to the system and change the language to english then now it's visible for me yeah so much nicer and easier to use so at first glance the setting is pretty simple um you have your wi-fi settings your test connectivity just test it out um, it's connected to my Wi-Fi 6. I think it's not really testing the speed. It's just text testing the the connection to the internet. Yeah, that's that's about it, I think. So there's also this image settings where you can actually see all the fine local dimming. Well, why not set it to high, right? Why, why middle? Intelligent switch like protection which is a little yellowish to me so I'm not gonna on that uh, light sensor I think this is to to see whether uh, if you're off the light for the brightness still be um, the same or it can be adjustable to the the lightings uh, environment that you have and display mode is now standard that is movie, picture, filmmaker mode, monitor, gaming. As I've known, uh, filmmaker mode is pretty accurate. Uh, that's what I heard. Sound settings, you get buttons, boot at tone and Dolby effect. Well, you have Dolby Atmos on. You can have movie, music, all, all will have difference, okay. So in standard, you can't have, you can't change anything. It's default on. <laughs> and in movie, you can actually off or on your Atmos. Okay. AIAQ, no idea what is that. I think that is to automatically set the volume balance. Or once you're on it, you don't have Dolby effect. And you don't have volume balance i think that's the ai working yeah meaning that they will let it will know what kind of uh, things is coming in uh the the source so it will automatically uh, adjust it for you yeah intelligent adjust sound effect based on the movie scenes yeah yeah there is some 
some descriptions descriptions there okay that is nice uh, so I'm just gonna leave it on you can have TV speakers HDMI and so on restore back and default signal source yeah so you can actually have a auto play one touch play okay auto close CEC automatically turn on and off account security and this is the version 3 it actually asked me to update but I uh, don't want to do that first so it's pretty simple um, yeah I can actually change the mode to standard mode kids mode check out kids mode hmm okay this is kids mode and can I can adjust to well okay maybe to seven and above yeah then it will automatically tells me <laughs> interesting uh it will show me based on the age that i set yeah and i can have concise mode or office mode concise mode is like um yeah just like that you know where i like the most because i wouldn't be using um the source from this tv anyway the source will be from another tv box uh, as this is all china uh, programs and so on and the vips are all locked for china purposes only so even if i click on it i won't be able to see anything yeah uh, because out of china this is sort of like useless let me just click on one and see but then you watch let me watch media is offline yeah there you go so uh, pretty much useless to me yeah so the concise mode is uh the mode that I want. Uh, there's another one called office mode. Um, this is a little too simple, I would say. Yeah, there's nothing much you can do. Uh, this is more for offices. So I can just change it back to uh, the mode that I want, which is concise mode. Yeah, which is perfect. Uh, where I can just come in here. When I'm on the TV, I can just change according to which HDMI I want to go to. All right, um, then this Mi Home. I have quite a bit of stuff uh, in my house, which is uh, me as well, but I need to log in. Uh, I'm going to do that later. Uh, and you can just change your channel here as well to which HDMI, one, two, three, or if you have TV or AV, yep. Settings. Settings, I've actually gone through it. This is what? Operational guide. Yeah, it's in Chinese. It basically tells you what this does, yeah? Okay. So I removed my 60-inch TV. I'm going to replace with this one and with this bracket here, which can fit up to 120 and it's full motion.